Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Marvel's Cable, part of the Zabu Build-A-Figure wave. And I haven't built this whole wave yet because there are some characters I just haven't cared about that much, but I will do it, don't worry. But I have to tell you guys, when they showed this cable, I was pretty happy. I am a big Marvel vs. Capcom fan. I think the fact that there isn't some kind of licensing going on with that, or Smash Brothers, for instance, any of these mashup games, huge missed opportunity. Even if you can't get the actual license, make the character designs. And it's taken Hasbro their sweet time to do it, but they finally did a cable figure from that game. And I have to tell you, it's, for a Marvel Legends figure, mostly pretty darn good. And I was thrilled with the announcement and I'm fairly happy with the figure. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. Okay, before we get into the figure, I'll show you the package real quick. We get some artwork on the side here, which doesn't actually match the figure at all. Weird choice. It's close. It's like the comic version of this suit, sort of. I don't like it. I don't know what any of this brown stuff is doing on there. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. The MVC look is way nicer. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, there's the box, which shows a <laughs> totally different design. Oh, Hasbro. It's not like they're going to put the MVC artwork on there, but still goodness okay so this guy stands roughly seven inches let's say not counting a little bit of hair that's gonna be about call it 17.75 centimeters something like that he's dwarfing darwin by a lot which means he'll probably fit with batman here pretty well yeah you could mix him if you wanted to like you could fudge it a little bit cable should be a little bigger of course but and then even with this, you could probably fudge it if you really wanted to, but again, it wouldn't be accurate. All right, so uh, real quick, uh, this guy is popping in and out of stock on Big Bad Toy Store. There's a link in the description below. You're going to have to get lucky. They pop in and out sometimes, and uh, sometimes they get more in stock, sometimes they don't. So keep checking. I'll put that link down there. If you want to get this guy, which I'm going to tell you right now, you want to get this guy. If you don't have him yet, click that link get yourself one if it's if it's there and if it's not keep checking because you want it if you're a marvel legends collector you want this one i'm telling you right now but keep watching the video please i need to make a living all right so aesthetically speaking no wait first question of the day which look for cable is your favorite now i have to tell you i'm a little bit partial to the orange and brown and green look that was on that old 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 toy biz five inch figure i love that but I think I'm most partial to this one just because I grew up so hard on MVC. So let me know what you guys like the most. Now, this figure does reuse some old parts, reuses some new parts. There's some good, some bad. It's kind of all around. And this figure, I think, is one of the ones where it really has some potential if somebody wanted to throw some paint on it to really bring it to life. But I don't think you need to with this guy. So I'll start with the the two worst things so that we can end on some good stuff because I, I find that when i start with good stuff and end on bad stuff that's all people think about so the bad stuff first these boots i hate it i hate it at this point in history i think we can move past the painting of the boots give us a piece of plastic hasbro do something other than just a fuzzy paint job at the top of the boots that looks like hot garbage Look, especially with the the, sh the shin swivel here with the plastic and then the yellow paint on top and none of it matches and his boot actually has a vein going through it's just not that looks like hot stinking flame and garbage luckily it's down at the feet and just like you can skip leg day at the gym you can skip looking at his legs on the figure to some degree so that's terrible hot garbage but eh, eh, i'm probably gonna be okay letting it slide the other thing that stands out to me is his head is a little bit big if his head was smaller it would look better for sure especially since his lower body isn't quite as buff as his upper body he definitely needs some more meat here maybe a little bit of length i'd have to check but maybe i'll photoshop it we'll see uh, they need to reshape the calves there's like a skinniness here that does not look good especially with the giant feet they do so big head giant feet skinny legs not a great look again pose it you probably won't notice especially with the leg part because the head's not like wildly large or anything like that. I just think it would look a little bit better, smaller. Okay, that stuff out of the way. Let's get into the good. And I'll pepper in one more little kind of not so good thing. The face, I love some of what's going on here. I love the eye detail. I love this thing. I think that's awesome. I really like the way they did the hair. I think it could use a little bit of paint, but still looks pretty good. The stubble thing, uh, 
Here's my gripe, and then they painted the lips really well. And the sculpt is wonderful, by the way. That's a really, really good head sculpt. Um, here's the thing for me. Marvel Legends have this uh, identity crisis where they want to pack in all this detail on the heads. And like, generally, that's a good thing. You want nice, good head sculpts. But also with paint, it's a weird combination because the bodies have generally low sculpted detail and almost no paint. So it's, it's a mix up of uh, design philosophy, which I don't think does them any favors. I think they really need to just tighten it up a little bit, but on its own, the head is really, really solid. I like it, I love the sculpt. And uh, I don't know about the stubble, but you guys can let me know what you think. But yeah, it's just a weird combo. Not necessarily bad, because this body does have a decent amount of sculpt work on it. Obviously we have the straps, lots of wrinkling and muscle detail in the shirt and in the abdomen, especially the abs. The arms are from Thor, but uh, because it's a pretty good arm sculpt, you can get away with it. I hate the fact that it has all kinds of wrinkles in the clothing here, and then all of a sudden just veins and everything. Like that's definitely lazy, cheap reuse, and I get it, but also... I don't know, I hate it and I'm okay with it at the same time. You guys probably get what I mean. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it would definitely be better if it was better. So yeah, uh, but the harness is done pretty well. We'll get to that in the articulation a little bit, but sculpt is good. I think it could use a wash. That was the one last little bit of a negative thing. Like all the yellow is just bare yellow plastic, so it looks a little cheap. This looks really good. Um, I'm pretty sure Thor had a robot arm, right? At some point, and that's why this matches. Am I remembering correctly? I don't know, but we'll get to that more in the articulation. But yeah, overall these arms and this chest and from here up, it's a really, really solid looking figure despite the head being slightly big. The legs definitely don't go with the body as well as I would like, but it is aesthetically for Marvel Legends, very pleasing and a welcomed addition. I'm gonna give this guy for Marvel Legends a nine out of 10. That's strong. There's a lot of caveats here, but we're talking about Marvel Legends. Most of them suck great big whole horrible garbage piles i don't know how to say things most of them are really bad so this is a really good one comparatively as far as accessories go he comes with the fist hand and a clenchy hand on him in the package then you get two trigger finger hands with vertical hinges i'm just going to start taking credit for that uh once i started complaining about it a lot that's when we saw a change could be coincidence but uh, now we get vertical hinges and uh, it's it's a great thing so i'm definitely going to take credit for that we get two guns, which aren't, uh, as far as I can tell, accurate to the game at all, but they are two guns that aren't the worst thing in the world, so that's whatever. No alternate head, though, which I think would be great, so I'm just going to say 7 out of 10 for accessories. Okay, articulation. It looks pretty good. Has some accessories. Can it pose? What kind of joint do we have for the head? Oh, well, someday, Hasbro, someday. <laughs> They'll do some more double ball pegs. At least it's not a lollipop. It's not sitting too high. It looks okay. So you get your rotation on that ball peg, a little bit of wiggle, but not much. And then of course, looking up and down is all right. For the shoulders, you're gonna get your full rotation. These are those weirdly shaped shoulders that look really great when they're down. Uh, and then when you bring them up, it's okay. Like, okay, so the good thing is it raises the arm up a little bit higher to make it look right. Because when you, when you raise your arm up this way, it doesn't raise down here, it raises up here. So that's a good thing. I still don't love the way they did the lump here. I feel like it's probably easier to show you on this side. I feel like the idea is there, but the execution is not. Having just a giant smooth ball with the shoulder muscles on top is not really the right play. This should have been sculpted to make it a seamless transition. I don't mean like sculpt in the lats or anything like that. I just mean sculpt it to look like shoulder at least. Or even some, like do something, just the big ball is weird. But I like the idea that's there. It definitely looks good when the arms aren't right out to the side, which is probably not gonna be that common anyway. So that's okay. So they do function though. Bicep swivel is fine. Double jointed elbow. He's not gonna get the best range, but it's not bad. Well, I guess the way they did it, the range is pretty decent. That's probably the best way to do it. You wanna let the, this joint down here do most of the heavy lifting. This one, so that you're not cutting out a big chunk of the bicep. I can show you on this side, again, better. You don't wanna cut out a big chunk of bicep. So you let this joint do a little bit, but then you let this joint do a whole lot because you don't have to cut anything away. From right here so you can do this and then get really solid range it's better than 90 by a good degree so yeah that's good that's good wrists swivel and hinge of course we already talked about that ab crunch on this guy i like the way they tucked these in and that they put a little tab down here to connect the harness I mean, it doesn't actually connect but it looks like it so he can lean back 
Still not the best ab crunch the way they did it, but it's kind of hidden by the harness and he can lean forward and the harness works. The leaning forward works pretty well, so that's good. That is nice. Uh, there's actually a better way of doing this than having these little tabs here, but it would have cost more. And it includes this being longer and this having a hole in it so that it slides in and out. That way it actually stays connected rather than having tabs, but whatever, it'll work. Waist twist is fine. The belt is a floaty belt. Can you move it all the way down? I don't think you can. So you might wanna have to, well, I'm not sure that there's a, you're gonna have to leave the belt in the middle it looks like. There's not a whole lot of place to put it. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to leave it kind of somewhere in the middle, which is okay. All right, for the hips, he doesn't kick very far forward. Doesn't go really back at all. Out to the side is only 45 degrees. That's pretty bad. These are some of the worst hips. You can tell because they're really gappy and they kind of detract from the figure. Uh, but they're, yeah, it gets skinny here and it's gappy and you still get pretty garbage range. So that blows. Uh, thigh swivel is hidden by the straps. That's good. Double jointed knees. Perfectly good range. Still too much lower leg, not enough upper leg. Hasbro, someday you'll be a good company, I promise, if you try just a little bit harder. All right, uh, shin swivel is fine. If you like that, it's there. Boots go all the way back, all the way forward, and a decent ankle rocker. So yeah, his articulation isn't really anything special, but it should be fine. So I'll give it a seven out of 10 for Marvel Legends. It's pretty much par for the course. All right, final verdict on this guy. I was very excited for it. And I'm happy with it. As a collector, I'm, I'm very happy to have this in my collection. As a reviewer, it's a solid piece. It's nothing like extraordinary, but it's definitely, definitely without a doubt toward the top of Marvel Legends offerings for a recent history. It's nothing special. It's still basically bald blue plastic with bald yellow plastic. There's not a whole lot of paint going on there, but it is good enough. It is definitely good enough. It has a much better heroic shape thanks to this upper body. These arms are a lot better. The chest is a lot better. The head sculpt is nice. The legs are pretty wimpy crap, but yeah, it's it's nothing special in the context of the overall community of the industry, I should say. But uh, for Marvel Legends, it's pretty darn special. So I'm gonna give this guy an overall rating of four Marvel Legends. I'm gonna say nine out of 10, I can't not. I just, it looks so much better than most Marvel Legends. I know it technically should have more paint and more accessories and better articulation to get that high of a rating, but there's something about this figure. I think it's the fact that it actually looks like a comic book character. It's just, I mean, when you're used to getting this in a, in a line and then you get this, it's like, is it the same company? Who's, who's making the figures here? It's just, I'm gonna stick with the nine for Marvel Legends. Again, link in the description below. Try to get one if you haven't yet. Uh, they are coming in and out of stock. Good luck. Uh, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.